my name is Eileen Perez. I'm an astrophysicist, and this is formaldehyde on Mars. So in 2005, uh, we just read a large amount of formaldehyde on Mars. And this was a problem in, in many ways because it kind of, anything that we discover on Mars generally turns into like a conspiracy theory, formaldehyde. And the problem with this is that people assume that something big had to be happening on Mars in order for us to get this formaldehyde. But formaldehyde is expected when there is methane in a planet. So, because formaldehyde is a natural oxidation of methane. So, it comes from methane oxidation. Now, we saw a certain amount of methane abundance, and then we saw a very large number of, large percentage of formaldehyde. So the problem was, is like, where is this formaldehyde coming from? And there was a lot of assumptions and a lot of debate over where this could have come from. But um, in general, we have a lot of sources that can actually lead to a methane abundance. Um, the first one is geological activity. And the second one that's uh, fairly common is asteroids. They can actually bring uh, methane into the planet. And the thing about methane is that methane lasts a really long time in an atmosphere. So you can bring methane, it can last like up to 350 years. So if you see formaldehyde, you can't assume that it, the methane was just created. It could have been created 300 years ago. Now, uh, here on Earth, uh, this kind of signature generally comes from microbial life. And this was sort of the favorite, um, the favorite source, just because we really want to find life. And I think we've kind of pushed that limit in a lot of ways. Um, and we haven't been able to find microbial life ever since. I mean, uh, we had all the rover missions after 2005. We were looking exactly for this. I mean, this was sort of the, the main, one of the main goals is to kind of just look at the composition, where is this methane coming from, and looking for signs of life. So far, this has not been a very successful uh, goal, so we haven't found any microbial life in whatsoever. Um, so we have to lean towards the fact that methane may have come from geological activity or asteroids. Mars has been thought to be geologically dead for quite some time, but they have seen some other stuff that may indicate that it has a little bit of geological activity left, and maybe uh, some years ago, before all this methane oxidized, it was a little bit more active, and maybe that was the actual source of the abundance of methane on Mars. So this is the story of the formaldehyde on Mars. Um, this also, the, the reason this was actually a, a big problem in 2005 was because a lot of people didn't believe uh, the experimental data that came down. They were not very uh, sure that this number of formaldehyde was actually uh, accurate. And this is why this was kind of a big scandal for the Mars missions. My name is Eileen Perez. I'm an astrophysicist, and this is formaldehyde on Mars.